the new head coach for Tennessee State University, the one and only Eddie George, former NFL star. What's going on, Big Tom? How are you, man? Hey, I'm hanging in there, man. Blessed and highly favored, man. It, it, I, I wish I could see you, but, you know. Uh, that's all right. That's all right. I see you. You're looking dapper and sharp as always. And, oh, by the way, some brother I know is about to turn, what is it, 48 years old? Is that true? In, about, in a couple of weeks oh, or so, about God. to turn 48 years old. You, you're approaching you know, 50, but you're looking I, in your 30s. Uh Hey, hey, you know, I, I say I'm 38. <laughs> knock, knock 10 off of that, you know, but uh, now God is good. I've been blessed, man, um, to, to, to be in the situation, uh, to be alive today, to be able to do this, uh, this be a head coach uh, for this wonderful university. Um, it's, been, it's been an awesome time for me. Now, you've never been a head coach before. Talk to me about this job at Tennessee State and remind everybody why you elected to take this job. Well, uh, in short, Stephen A., you know, it's a calling. Um, when I was first approached about the opportunity, um, I, I wasn't uh, moved by it at first. But after doing my due diligence and a ton of soul searching, I said, hey, why not? When is the perfect time? When do you have an opportunity to go from going from the back to the front of, of not having an opportunity to be a head coach to being a head coach? You know, sometimes it takes someone to see something in you that you don't see in yourself. And uh, I looked at all of that, talked to my family about it, and I said, hey, why not? Why not me? Why not right now? Why not try to make a difference on and off the football field for our student athletes? How much was it being an HBCU? How much of a role did that play in you electing to take this job, the fact that it's an HBCU? Um, it really, it really didn't weigh a whole lot that it was an HBCU. It was the fact that I'm familiar with the brand of Tennessee State. Um, when we first got here from Houston in 1997, the Houston Oilers, we uh, practiced at Tennessee State. Um, we were on the facilities. Uh, I have friends that have gone to Tennessee State, so I'm very familiar with the brand, uh, familiar with the, the struggles um, of the university over the years, and. Uh, the fact that I'm from Nashville, I live in Nashville now, been there for 24 years, um, I felt that the resources I could help bring, the, um, the, the light that I could help bring to this program uh, to, to kind of bridge the gap in some areas where we can help uh, the resources, operations, and bring a winning product on the football field and other mm -hmm. sports, you know, lend an opportunity. So it, it really wasn't like, hey, I'm just going to go and find the HBCU to, mm -hmm. to, uh, to be a part of. It just so happened that I was here living in Nashville, Tennessee, and Tennessee State um, offered me the opportunity. What role did primetime Deion Sanders, your opponent tomorrow night, mm. somebody that you know yeah. you, you're very, very familiar with, what role, if any, did he play in helping you decide to take this job? You know, what's, what was funny is when, when uh, Coach Prime uh, <laughs> took the job, um, I think back in October, uh, I was like, man, that is awesome. You know, he's going to change a lot of lives for a lot of young men. Uh, I think it's phenomenal. He's been coaching in high school and high school ranks for some time, so I kept up with him that way. So when I got approached with the opportunity a few months later, I said, let me give Dion a call to see, okay, number one, can I be successful at this given I don't have any head coaching experience? Mm -hmm. And two, what does it entail? What are the challenges? What, what does a winning program look like from budget to operations to staff to all of that? And and uh, we had a really good conversation, and he, he gave me the vote of confidence. Hey, you can do it. You know, the head coach is nothing more than a CEO. Mm. And you delegate your um, – you, de you delegate all of your, your, your things to your other coaches and other duties to the, the assistant coaches and so forth. Mm. And I said, okay, you know what, let me look deeper into that and see what I can come up with at that particular mm. time. And, you know, this opportunity is God-given. Only God can – Put me in this opportunity right. at this point in time. And, and Dion gave me a, a vote of confidence with that. Real quickly, what's harder to do? Play against prime time or coach against mm. him? <laughs> coach <laughs> prime. A play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's a simple answer, I would right? say, I would say play. Hey, hey that, was, that was simple. You know, uh, all, although, you know, if I saw him on a tall sweep, I, I think, mm. uh, you know, we, we know how that would end. But if I try to mm. go to the distance, I think we know how that would end. So, I, I, but uh, thank God that, that we don't have to put the pads on. I hear you on that. 
I can't lie. Nashville is a fabulous, fabulous city. I love it whenever I get uh, I get the opportunity to visit there. I got to ask you this question, though. Let me transition to the NFL because that's your stomping ground. You played for the Tennessee Titans in mm -hmm. your career. Did a damn great job doing so, I might add. There's another brother there now. His name is Derrick Henry. They got Julio Jones there yes, now. Sir. You still got A.J. Brown and the crew. What are your expectations for the Tennessee Titans this year? Well, uh, I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to him right now because I'm trying to get my Tigers ready to yep. play this season. But what I do know is this, is that uh, the offense is star-studded. They have an explosive offense with Ryan Tannehill also at the quarterback position. But they, they invested a lot into their defense. It's been the defensive side of the football for Mike Vrabel. Can they apply pressure to the quarterback? Plain and simple. Can they have some dogs off the edge? Can they apply it with four down rush without blitzing? Um, is the back end and the secondary, are they good enough to promote a, a championship season? That's the difference for me with the Tennessee Titans. If they can answer those questions on the defensive side of the football with that explosive offense, they should be playing in the Super Bowl. I got you. And last question is, I'm going to transition to college football. I know you care about Tennessee State. That's your job, and you can, your, your heart is there. But <laughs> your heart also lies with the Ohio State Buckeyes, okay, who beat Minnesota oh, to open Lord. this season. Got a big game coming up against yeah. Oregon. What are your expectations for Ohio State this year, particularly with C.J. Stroud at the quarterback position? Yeah, I, I checked them out last last week, and I, I was very impressed. I mean, listen, at, at Ohio State, they just reload. They lose players, and they just lock and load. I mean, they got guys in the cupboard that are five-star players, four-star players, athletes just waiting to come out on the field. And um, they got a, a slew of running backs, a bevy of running backs, three to pick and choose from. Uh, they got a, one of the best wide receiving corps in the country. Uh, quarterback seems like he's settled in um, beautifully so far. Um, I, I like them uh, to win the Big Ten this year. Um, I, whether they're in the conversation of the top four, we have to see how their defense pans out. Alabama looks strong. Uh, Georgia looks strong so far coming out the gate. Uh, Clemson, uh, they fell back, but I think they'll come back into the fold a little bit and look out for Texas too. So it's a long season, a lot of football to be played, Stephen A. I would like to see their defense, especially their run defense, uh, be a lot better. But again, you know, I, I really hadn't been paying a whole lot of attention. Right. That's right. Y'all got to get ready to play prime That's over right. my shoulder That's on, right. uh, on Saturday. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.